First, you'll need some fruits and veggies. Here I have an apple and an orange um, because it's their main part of their diet. And I, I use fruits and veggies such as romaine. I made a video on that. I'll link it in the description. Next, you can use some Timothy hay. This is completely optional, but hermit crabs just like to nibble on this. And I use Timothy. Others are okay, like orchard grass, but yeah. Next, you'll need a mister. Um, you spray them to keep the humidity up and keep it tropical like their natural habitat. So basically, when you squirt it, it just um, gives them water. Next, you'll need some shells. Here I have one big one, swirly. So you're supposed to have two larger than them, at least two larger than them, one smaller than them, and two the same size as them. So I have a spiky shell and two turbo shells. I forgot to mention that each crab should have that many. So I recommend three shells bigger than each hermit crab. Next, you'll need a hida, whether half a coconut, half a log, a cork log, or anything covered that your hermit crab can hide in and feel safe. So I have a log and a coconut to show you. Next, you will need a sponge, which is completely optional, but just helps keep humidity levels. And hermit crabs have gills, so when they rub themselves against it, it actually makes their body, um, you know, it gives them water. So the next thing you'll need is pellet food. This is optional if you just want to feed them fruits and veggies. But the best ones are Thrive Hermit Crab Variety Diet. And it has a good source of protein and a nutrient-rich diet. And the next one I really recommend is the Jurassic Diet Hermit Crab Formula. It supports immune system and no corn or soy, which is great. And yeah. Next, you need sea salt because hermit crabs need salt water and fresh water dishes. So the one I recommend is instant ocean sea salt. Don't use your table sea salt or freshwater salt, which is toxic to hermit crabs and will not be good. Um, use the sea salt and for the sea salt aquariums and just put a few pinches into their salt water dish. Next, you'll need some moss, which is also optional, and it also acts like a sponge. Um, it helps keep humidity, and sphagnum moss and pillow moss are safe, and New Zealand sphagnum moss, but other types are not safe. Um, it's natural, and hermit crabs absolutely love it. Next, you need coconut fiber. Coconut fiber is basically shredded coconut, um, compacted into small parts. I use the loose coconut fiber, and this helps them dig in it. And also, this is the main substrate you should use um, apart from sand. Um, you should mix them together, and I use most of it, but this is what it looks like, like brown shreds, and my hermit crabs use lots of it. So yeah. Next, you'll need some wood climbing decker. Um, here I have a piece of driftwood, and that is chala wood. Um, driftwood is great for hermit crabs because um, it, they can climb, and it all comes in different, different weird shapes. And chala wood, sometimes they nibble on it, and it has holes that helps them climb on it. And driftwood I use kind of as a bridge or net or rope, whatever you call it. So next, you need a food dish. You can use one of these or you could use a seashell. Um, I use this for romaine, their salads, and I use this for fruits and veggies. Um, you can also use a fruit dish, um, a slightly bigger than my teal one, but seashells work because they're fairly big and very natural and beautiful looking. The next thing you'll need is sand. Um, this is children's play sand and natural sand mixed together. Oh, it's really pale on camera, but it's actually very dark. Um, I don't actually use calcium sand because it's man-made and it's not natural. But I just put it in this bag because the play sand bag kind of broke. So yes.
donate sand and make sure it doesn't have any dyes or anything like that. Make sure it's all natural. Next, you'll need some plants, a uh, plant hideout decker, um, whether it's aquarium, um, reptile vines, or live. Um, I have this big leafy plant. And then you'll need a bathing place. I have a little big container that they use. I have rocks in this, but a bathing dish is different than a water dish because water dishes they drink from and bathing dish they soak in like a bath. Um, make sure it's deep enough for them to fully soak themselves. And here I have a container, so yeah. So something like this can be used as a water dish. Um, as you can see, I also use this as a food dish.